landed on Culebra in a twin-engine plane. Looking to experience the world-famous snorkeling on this tiny Caribbean island off the east coast of Puerto Rico. We had two days to submerge ourselves in the undersea life and I came away with a short list of fantastic snorkel spots to hit when you go. And here they are. First up, Punta Soldado. There are more reasons to visit here than just the snorkeling. This perfect crescent beach surrounded by chaparral covered hills was one of the most picturesque beaches we spent time on. There are two beaches here. The first one on your left that's popular with locals for camping and picnics, and the other one further down at the point on the right, which is the one we spent time at. The snorkeling here is great, and I suggest a late afternoon visit, because in addition to the colorful undersea world beneath these calm, inviting waters, Punta Soldado is also the best place on Culebra to watch the sunset. As strange as this may sound, although it's an island, there aren't many places to watch the sunset over the water here, and the chance to do that was, for us, the primary draw of Punta Soldado. And as you can see, we weren't disappointed. Coming in at number two on my snorkel list is Playa Tamarindo. In my experience, this was the best combination of quality snorkeling and beach hangout. The sand here is nice. There's plenty of it to stretch out, and the views of Cayo Luis Peña Marine Reserve are spectacular. Tamarindo is also part of the Marine Reserve, and this is the best chance on the island you'll find to swim with turtles and stingrays. When we were here, the big creatures were out in the sandy area over to the left, and the colorful coral was along the shoreline up to the right. Both offered fantastic snorkeling. If you come to Tamarindo, Keep in mind that there are other fantastic spots to explore up the coastline to the right, like Carlos Rosario Beach, two beaches up past Playa Tamarindo Grande. I've made a promise to myself to get up there next time I'm on the island. The Tamarindo is a really great snorkeling beach. You gotta stay up on the right side and there's a nice reef there. There were turtles and rays strong enough to land at number two on my snorkeling spots for Culebra. And finally, my top snorkel experience on Culebra is, hands down, Playa Melones. It's not much to look at, there's not a lot of sand to kick back, and the chickens will talk to you constantly. <laughs> but you don't come here for the sunbathing. Playa Melones is one of those reefs where you have to adjust your mask because you're shaking your head so much in disbelief at what you're experiencing. Seriously though, the clarity, the colors, all combined to make Playa Malones a top-notch spot. It's actually two beaches, one to the left and one to the right. While the one on the left may have slightly more room to lay out and catch some rays, the snorkeling is at the beach on the right and along the right side. It's here I found some of the healthiest and most beautiful coral I've ever seen. Sea fans aplenty in all the colors of the rainbow, and of course, fish. Tons of them. Long ones, short ones, red ones, blue ones. For the tip we got here for Playa Malones, they were not kidding. This is an outstanding snorkeling beach, especially for sea fans and coral. It's in really good shape and very colorful and a really nice assortment of fish. You can't go wrong coming here. If you come, go to the right side and stay on the right side up the coast here. It's beautiful. The diversity in the reefs here in Culebra is staggering. And it was actually better before Hurricane Maria hit in 2017. Like all the reefs in this area of the Caribbean, it's been in recovery since. And while it's clearly doing well, I can't wait to come back and see how it grows over time. <laughs>